What's up guys, it's Michael from iApplyTech.com. Today I just have a kind of like a mini review, just a very quick video on the iHorn. Now this isn't the actual iHorn, uh, some of you guys may have heard of it. Basically what this does is it takes your iPhone speaker and makes it louder without actually making the speaker louder. Like there's no app or anything you have to install, you don't have to jailbreak. All you gotta do is have one of these. Now iHorns are about I believe 10 to 20 dollars this cost me two dollars and twenty six cents on Amazon and that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video today to just tell you guys if you're looking for something that wants to make your iPhone louder uh, this is the way to do it and it's very cheap so here's a quick example I got one of my videos we'll load up one of my videos here and we'll go ahead and turn the volume up all the way let's go ahead and wait for it to load here how's it going guys today I'm going to be doing the review of Google's newest tablet the Nexus Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the video play for a little bit, and then I'm going to place it in the eye horn, and hopefully you guys will be able to tell the difference. It does make it louder in person. I'm hoping that, it, uh, that you can hear it on camera, too. So I'm going to play it here, and then I'm going to put it inside there. Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing the review of Google's newest tablet, the Nexus 7. The tablet itself is $200 for the 8GB version and $250 for the 16GB version. Now to start off, the Nexus 7 features a 7-inch display, and it has a 1280 by 800 pixel resolution at 216 ppi. The tablet has a Tegra 3 quad core processor at 1.3 gigahertz inside. It also has a gigabyte of RAM. It's currently only. So hopefully you guys could uh, hear that through the camera. In person, it actually does make it quite loud. Um, maybe double double as loud as the normal iPhone speaker would go. And it overall is just a very cheap way how to make your uh, iPhone speaker louder without actually having to jailbreak or install uh, a third-party application. All right, sorry about the jump cut here, guys, but my microphone decided it didn't want to record anymore and stopped working. But what I was about to say is that it comes in white, black, green, and light brown, and I will have a link to buy it in the description below. Now, there is one downside to this. It does ship from Hong Kong, but it is it is made fairly well. It's, it's silicone. It works how it's supposed to work. The only downside is it's made from Hong Kong, and you will have to wait, I'd say, two weeks for it to get to you. If you're still looking for one of these and you want to order one in the USA, it is going to cost you a little bit more, up to probably about $10. So, um, yeah, just in case you were wondering, it is shipping from Hong Kong. It costs about $2.66, I believe. Uh, the full price will, of course, be on the website. And if you're looking to buy one from the USA, it's going to cost you a lot more. Uh, free shipping and everything, very cheap. If you guys can wait the two weeks out, highly recommend getting this. And I just thought I'd make this quick little video here telling you guys, if you want to make your iPhone speaker louder, this is the cheapest way to do it, and it works great. Because I know I have always wanted to have my iPhone just a little bit louder at times, so I thought I'd make a video letting you guys know how to do that. You can also take it off just like this and go, uh, just go around with it on here so you don't have to uh, always have the horn on it the whole time. And basically what it does is there's a microphone right here. Let me actually take this off. This is the iPhone microphone, so when you talk to somebody through the phone, it goes through that, the 30-pin dock connector, and the actual speaker. So when you put it in here, you will be able to see you still have access to your 30 pin dock connector, uh, your microphone, and then the speaker is covered up because the speaker actually goes through this hole right here into this hole, which amplifies out this hole. So lots of holes uh, involved in this uh, uh, device. And also has a home button here so you can still access your home button and it works just fine. So for under $3, this is probably one of the best things I've ever bought. And it's really nice to have a louder iPhone. But I'm gonna stop talking now, guys, because this video is longer than it should have been. Uh, if you wanna buy this, there'll be a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.